Worm Bedding 101. Welcome everybody to another episode of WWJC. That stands for Wild Worms Jesus Created. We are all about God on this channel. God has blessed me with uh, being able to do these worms. These worms are thriving, um, making money off of these worms. So I give God all the glory on this. And today, I just wanted to show you how I make bedding for my breeder bin. Um, we start out with some shredded paper. I don't like to use all shredded paper because the paper kind of clumps up together and it makes it harder to go through the sifters. So I had a lot of cardboard. We're gonna be putting in some coffee grounds, some of my worm chow that I make. And this one, we have a 50-50 split between lime and oyster shell. And the oyster shell gives the worms some grit to be able to digest their food and the lime keeps the pH right. And then we're gonna be adding in some peat moss. We're gonna do all that in a five gallon bucket to mix up for the worms. I mix it with, uh, this is actually an auger. I cut the end of it off to be able to get the mixture mixed up well because the water, it'll sit at the bottom. I want it to be able to mix all the way through the peat moss. Peat moss holds a lot of water, absorbs a lot of the moisture and uh, try to get it right because the worms, they breathe through their skin and uh, they have to be moist to be able to breathe. So I wanna make sure everything's right. So let's get started. First off, I'm gonna start out with some peat moss because it does absorb a lot of the water. And we're gonna add in our paper. And our cardboard. I'm just going to start mixing that around. You want the paper kind of mixed in with the cardboard because if not, it will clump together. Now we're going to add a little bit of water. reason I use this auger is because it'll go down to the bottom and you can see it's pulling that dry material up. That means everything is getting mixed. material in there. We want to make sure this is good enough for the worms to live in. We're going to put the dry coffee grounds in. Run that with the auger. drink it but I love to smell it so now we're gonna put the oyster shell and the lime in and this will help the worms to be able to digest their food plus keep our pH right Now I make this worm chow myself and the worms devour it. 
they love it i have to do a separate video on how to make the worm chow so y'all hit that like and subscribe button so when i post new videos y'all will be able to see it Just a couple drops out of it when you squeeze it and that's right where we're at um, I like to let this sit two or three days just to uh, kind of let the microbes and everything go ahead and start getting into it and then the worms are really when they get in their new home they'll just devour this stuff they love it give it one more go guys this is how i make my bedding for the worms thanks for watching uh, wwjc and uh, make sure to like and subscribe so you can see all the videos y'all have a good blessed day